many of the countries among African countries that are planning to fully reopen schools. Students are set to return to classes starting January the 4th. CDTN's Inok Sokolia visited a Kenyan school to better understand the challenges they're facing. As we closed business uh, before Corona came in, or immediately Corona came in, we had a population of 3,551. And uh, we're expecting that uh, that number is likely to shoot up to around 4,000 or 4,000. And we have about like 37, 39 private schools. Between 10 and 20 private schools have closed. They have closed down. They are not reopening. They are not reopening. Mm -hmm. And these schools are just next to our school. So where will these students come to? They will come here. Let's talk about how prepared you are mm -hmm. to handle such a huge population mm -hmm. of people. We have very many children, but less classrooms. So what we are going to do is that uh, the block that is just next to us here mm -hmm. is going to be used by grade four and standard eight. And these two classes, uh, by the nature of their seriousness and uh, the, the complexity of the handling of these two classes, mm -hmm. these students will have to be here throughout the day. We have, the whole school has 41 classrooms. We have a special class, we have an ECD class. So we are going to exempt the two rooms for them to use, be used by the special class mm -hmm. and the ECD class. Yeah. And then the 24 rooms that remain mm -hmm. will be divided amongst the other remaining children, class one, two, and three, five, six, and seven. This student will come in two batches. One batch will come in the morning, from around uh, 7 to around noon. Then the other batch will come from noon to around 5, 5.30. Because our children normally come from very, very near places. Have you put in place measures to ensure that children here or pupils will be sanitizing their hands and able to sanitize their hands throughout the day? Just behind you there is a big tank of water. Another one is just here. As I speak now, we are talking of, uh, we are talking of over 70 water points. I have put over 20 water points just in the toilet. So once the child comes from the toilet, there's a water point there. From the toilet, there's a water point there. Before the child gets in the classroom, there's a water point there. When they are playing, the, the three tanks that you see, there are water points all over. I want to take you to one of the classrooms and I exactly uh, display the scenario that we expect on Monday. Now, when you look at this, this is one of our class eights. We have 12 streams in standard eight. Now, this is a column. This column will have five desks. Then going this way, we will have... So, so let's see. Uh, how are you arranging here? Now, I'm arranging in such a way that, first of all, this is now the column, all right? Then I have another five desks here. The, the distance is, hey, it has to be checked, a meter or so. Two. Opposed, as opposed to the normal circumstances that they, they see three. So that one carries 10. Uh, uh, yes, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. So 10 times 5, you call it 50 learners. Now, the, normally in this class, it is used like around 70 people. 